Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your April mid monthly reading. Uh, I hope that everyone's having a really good April. Uh, once again, let me know where you are viewing from. I'm going to do some traveling. I hope to see some of my uh, friends. I like to say that I have friends all over the world. Some of my friends that view the page that are subscribers. Uh, just comment below where you live, where you're viewing from. Maybe I'll be in your city or your town or your country. Uh, and Or at least close to you where you can come and say hi. Maybe we'll do a personal reading for you face to face. Alright, how does that sound? I think it sounds good. Anyhow, let's get started. I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera. Aquarius, I feel like this is something good for us. This is... It's the four month, so it's all about stability and power. Um, this is good. I feel like it's, it's, it's good. You know, as long as you have that feeling that it's good, it'll be good, right? Okay, let's go, let's go. Messages for Aquarius. Justice, nice. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. But the scales will be balanced. Wow, then the Queen of Swords. Some of you could be dealing. This could be your energy or Libra. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. It could be your energy. Um, the scales are being balanced here. Um, you are cutting out what no longer serves you. You are making solid, sound, strategic uh, decisions. Page of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with another air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is the reasoning. The Page of Swords is the reasoning for all of the energy. Uh, someone could be spying. Okay, Aquarius. You. Or another air sign. Uh, harsh words, harsh communication. This isn't like like real thought out communication. It's not even like a lot of communication. It's not even like a long paragraph. It's like it's very short and to the point. You know. Um, in the past was the Ten of Pentacles. Nice. So you thought you had that or you did have that. Solid home, solid money, solid relationship. Nice. The sun is in your present energy. Positivity. Things being illuminated to you. You coming out of the dark. All right, I'm going to take both of these. Going forward is the Ten of Swords and the High Priestess. So there may have been betrayal here. You being blindsided. Either you're doing this to someone else or you, or this has been done to you. A lot of air energy. Could be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Leo, Libra, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces. You might feel left out in the cold, blindsided, disappointed, betrayed by maybe a Pisces. If not a Pisces... You got your own secrets. You know the real truth. You're going to the high priestess to gain the truth so that when this disappointment, this betrayal comes, I'm hearing that it, it won't be such a surprise to you. It won't be such a slap in the face. Your power is judgment. You're gonna make a final decision on something or about something. External to you, Seven of Pentacles. Someone looking at what they have invested with you in regards to you. Hopes and fears, Three of Swords and Reverse. That's what I'm talking about. It's exactly what I just said. You, you already are in tune with yourself, your intuition. You may even be going to psychics, tarot card readers, or whatever 
just gaining knowledge, holding on to the secret of you already know what this person is up to, the betrayal, the backstabbing. That's why the Three of Swords is in reverse, in the hopes and fears. You're not heartbroken. You've already done that song and dance of heartbreak and, and betrayal. You also could be coming out of third party situations, choosing not to partake in it anymore. Uh, some of you could not, could be coming out of separation, divorce. The need to practice caution in relationship, caution in relationship. Six of Pentacles in the outcome. If you're waiting for money, there's your payout. King of Wands. Yeah. If this is business, this is money coming in in your business. Some of you are entrepreneurs. Some of you, yeah, entrepreneurs, business, women and men um, in your career, you could be getting more money. The Tower. Nine of Pentacles, nice. Unexpected event turns great for you. It turns you into that single woman, single man, that that person in waiting, in waiting for the nine, the Ten of Pentacles. It was there in the past, or you felt. That's why in the beginning I said you felt like you had it, but it really wasn't true. Seven of Wands. You're defensive, standing your ground. Because messages of stability are here. If someone's coming to you and trying to partner with you in regards to work. Could be a King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Queen of Pentacles. Could be a Capricorn, Six of Swords, Six of Cups, Queen of Wands. Some of you guys are moving moving home, moving away from divorcing a fire sign or earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Their child, there's children involved. You do feel like this is a soulmate, but it's it's been, it's you've gone through too much. You've gone through too much. The magician, yeah. Just manifesting a new star. You're at back at one. All right, Aquarius. I think in the last spread or early the early April spread was you just moving away from conflict and drama, and it looks like the universe is helping you here move forward, cut out things that no longer serve you. They're bringing some clarity and light to you with the sun and your present energy. Uh, High Priestess and the Ten of Swords. That's the like, the best you can ever get because the betrayal, you already see it. You already know it. You already feel it. You've already gone through it. And then the Three of Swords in reverse. Like The heartbreak, the heartache is not there because you've already dealt with the, the infidelity maybe. The betrayal, the heartbreak. You've already dealt with it. Um... Via the high priestess, you already knew you knew it was coming. So I was like, you know, I've already cried my eyes out. I've already made my plans. I've already made peace with it, whatever it may be. Let's do career and finance for Aquarius. Some of you dealing with air signs and relationship. Be cautious. Just tread lightly. Go with the flow. Justice was in the um outcome it was in the the basis so whatever's happening with you or surrounding you justice will prevail let the tower come down let it come down for you because it takes you to the nine of pentacles seven of club psychic abilities are heightened we saw that with the high priestess against the opposite sex but there's prosperity and success here. And then the two of 
of hearts, a successful relationship. Ten of spades. There's that. This is the same thing. The high priestess and then the ten of spades. The betrayal, the low energy, the the, the backstabbing, uh, being backed into a corner in regards to relationship. I'm trying to get something for a career in finance, eight of sword or eight of spade. Some of you feeling there's cancellation, you know, feeling like there's cancellation here. There's, um, you feeling tied to the situation. You can't see a way out. Ace of diamond though. There we go. Psychic abilities are high in here. Uh, a successful relationship. This could be business. Um, a successful partnership. Ace of Diamond, financial wealth, um, taking things to the next level, and it might move really rapidly. Eight of Club, um, the rapid communication. The Eight of Club also talks about trouble in relationship due to jealousy and greed. It might be due to the fact that there is money involved here with maybe a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Trouble in your second relationship, second marriage. But there's a payout with the Six of Diamonds. Three of Spades. Once again, get the same cards. Divorce, separation, caution in relationship due to jealousy, infidelity. Tread lightly with the a Cancer Pisces Scorpio guys this separation is moving away from a certain person brings you financial gain and the ultimate level of happiness definitely could have been a marriage king and queen of hearts your psychic abilities are heightened change of journey and home. Some of you are moving. Yeah, put in an end. Endings and new beginnings. Maybe with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. There was a love affair or a business relationship not approved of. A new start in love or friendship is here for you because now you're single with the Nine of Diamond. You can also be restless in your current job because there's a business opportunity that you want to partake in. Yep, there's you. Jack of Spade. If this is the, the actor, too. Somebody's acting. They're putting on a lot of faces here. Nine of Spade. Uh, low energy. Get your Make sure your health is up to par, get blood work done. Nine of spade. There's anxiety here. That's that's affecting health. It's coming to excuse me, it's coming to an end though. Yeah. Three of club. King of spade. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. All right. Okay, so for my Aquarius who have their own business or something of that nature or wanted to go into business for themselves, it looks really good. Um, there's some anxiety about a decision that you need to make, a business decision that you need to make. But it's going to bring you a lot of fulfillment emotionally once you make this business decision. Um, it's going to bring you some really good money, too. Some wish fulfillment. Um, your intuition will be heightened. Also, you just, especially my entrepreneurs, you're just going to make solid decisions. You're going to, you know, organize the people so that all of this can come together. You're looking out into the horizons. There's a little reversal here. Or someone feeling conflict from an outer source or conflict within themselves, but wish fulfillment is here. 
Ten of Pentacles is here. Solid money. Um, this looks really good. And it, for, for others who don't have their own business, it looks like the breakdown, the demise of a relationship brings you some money. Now, of course, we all know that could be divorce, di divorce settlements and that, and that sort. Um, there are some offers here. Some of you could be accepting an offer, job offer, business offer. Yeah, so that's that. It looks good. Just got to go through the, the energy. But know that the outcome is great. I'm going to do three cards of advice for Aquarius. of it lies for Aquarius. Three cards of it lies for Aquarius. Okay, we got four. All right, self-employment. What I tell you, some of my Aquarius are self-employed. If you're not self-employed and this is a thought Guess what? The universe is backing you and saying, yes, 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 go that way with that nine of diamonds. That's a person who has built themselves up to a place of sometimes feeling like, hey, I can do this or whatever it may be on my own. I could start this. I could. You've gone through a lot. You've done a lot. You've seen a lot. You're at the nine of diamond or the nine of pinnacle. If you're thinking about self-employment, for some of you, you're already engaged in self-employment. It will get better, hopefully for you, or you just need to be or you know that you're on the right path with self-employment coming up. Relationship dynamics. Yeah, the dynamics of your relationship have changed maybe because you feel a certain way or the other party feels a certain way. Another person has entered the relationship or exit the relationship. Children, mother, father, law, mother-in-law, father-in-law, uh, side person, third party. Uh, relationship dynamics have changed. People feel differently. You're going to have to explore that. Think about what that means to you and how it means whatever it means to you. Um, know that it's it's changed. You know, you're going to roll with the change or you're leave it alone. Sentimental feelings. Everybody's getting sentimental feelings. All right, y'all know how I feel about sentimental feelings. Like, you know, it's almost like the Four of Cups. It's like, eh, yeah, sentimental feelings are like, yeah, um, I have my heart set on a brownie, but you've only got chocolate chip cookies. I guess I'll take a chocolate chip cookie, you know? It's like concession, almost. I don't like sentimental feelings. If, if we're talking in regards to love relationships, romantic relationships, Sentimental feelings are for business and work. You know, I feel a certain way about my coworkers. I don't want anyone to get fired or get or be harmed. But I don't love them. I don't care nothing about. I, you know, hey, you know, it only goes so far. You know, so I don't know. You have a sentimental feelings about something. You're very mm, nonchalant, very um, passive, very uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's in my head. I can't even say it. It's like you're very just uh, mm, you know. That's just how you are. Like mm, yeah, mm, I did. Yeah, okay. We're having tacos. Mm. I wanted nachos, but. Okay. It's just, it, it's lackluster. I would rather this be the card of emotions. Because then we know that there's strong mental and soul tie for such it, for whatever. The sentimental feelings that maybe what you are having in your relationship is like, you don't, it's like, okay, this can go either way. I don't, 
necessary. I'm not tied to any outcome, you know, because my feelings about said situation, relationship, uh, is um, you know, my feelings about it are, you know, up in the air. You know, it can go either way. I don't. It's almost if I want to say I don't care, but you care because there's sentimental feelings, but. At the same time, you don't care. Sorry, not sorry. I don't know if I confused the hell out of you guys. But that's just the energy I'm picking up. I don't know. Spiritual growth, nice. Um, the high priestess was there. Um, in the near future some of you need to be more spiritually grounded or you feel like you've kind of gotten off off your rocker with that because of you know life life happens uh, relationships happen to where the spiritual growth was just not the focus and now you need to get back into that whatever that means for you um, you know getting, I'm here and getting back aligned with different Rituals and regimens that you have for yourself and being very stern in that I know as Aquarius like you can Because I'm a son Aquarius We can get in relationship we can get in situations where we just completely are engulfed in it We want to make it work. We put a hundred and ten percent in and um, We kind of we kind of let everything else that we we did to get to that place we kind of let it fall by the wayside you know or not exactly fall by the wayside but we um we kind of you know we we're so involved to the point where we just self-care is uh is muted a bit so anyhow aquarius if that resonated with you like share comment subscribe to the channel be always worried about self because everyone else is um take care of yourself um i hope that this resonated with all of you um or at least some of you okay follow me on instagram instago ask me a question or two there i'll pull some cards for you choose to fund the page click the gofundme link all donations go back into the channel we need new cards people please I was in like the little spiritual store the other day. I, I'm sorry, guys. I only bought things for myself. Yeah. I should have bought more cards. I didn't even get to that part of the store. I was just, yeah. So, but anyhow, fund the page. I'll definitely pour any donation back into the channel. It's much appreciated. And it's for you guys. It's for all of us. Me too. Uh, what else? Um, request a personal reading um, I can't think of anything else guys you know what I say when in doubt pray I am praying for you pray for me as well take care guys